We have our first newsworthy trade of the offseason involving a standout reliever and some former first-round draft picks. The Atlanta Braves and Chicago White Sox agreed to a six-player deal on Thursday night. The Atlanta Braves will receive one player, left-handed reliever Aaron Bummer. Bummer will slide into a late-inning role with the Braves behind closer Rizal Iglesias, A.J. Minter, Pierce Johnson, and Joe Jimenez. And his calling card has always been the ability to rack up strikeouts. In this trade, Atlanta is loading up their bullpen with another weapon while clearing valuable 40-man roster space and securing a reliever who is under club control through 2026. The extra roster space should only fuel more speculation that the Atlanta Braves are about to spend big this offseason. Bummer finished 2023 with a deceptively bad ERA of 6.79. Meanwhile, he had a 3.58 FIP, a 3.51 XFIP, and a 3.53 expected ERA. In short, Aaron Bummer had a very unlucky season thanks to a 55.4 left on base percentage, 14% lower than his career average. Bummer had a 12.03 K per 9 in 2023, and the Braves' bullpen just became even stronger. Meanwhile, five players are now headed to the White Sox. Right-handed pitcher Michael Soroka, left-hander Jared Schuster, infielder Nicky Lopez, infielder Braden Shoemake, and right-handed pitcher Riley Goins. Mike Soroka is the big name here. He's battled injuries since 2020, but he's now back to full health at 26 years old. He was a likely non-tender candidate, so the Braves were looking to move him. Since 2019, he's only pitched 46 innings in the majors. As a rookie in 2019, Soroka grabbed a lot of headlines with a 2.68 ERA over 20 29 starts, good enough to finish in second place in the National League Rookie of the Year balloting. The Chicago White Sox biggest need this offseason is pitching, and in one trade, they've added three arms and two athletic infielders. Lefty Jared Schuster will also be a possible rotation option for the White Sox. He was drafted in the first round of the 2023 draft by Atlanta. He had 52 innings pitched in the majors this past season as a rookie with a 5.81 ERA and only 5.13 K per nine. Nicky Lopez doesn't strike out much, is known for his speed, and provides solid defense around the infield. In 2023, Lopez spent time at second base, third base, shortstop, first base, and left field. That kind of versatility is exactly what the White Sox will be relying on as they proceed with the rebuild. Braden Shoemake was drafted in the first round by the Braves in 2019. He was Atlanta's number 15 overall prospect this year. He'll enter the 2024 season at 26 years old. At AAA this past season, he hit 16 home runs and had 27 stolen bases in 122 games, with a 234 average while playing second base and shortstop. He's regarded as one of the best defensive shortstops in the minors with plus instincts and an above average arm. Overall, he's a glove first infielder. Let us know your thoughts on this trade in the comments below. Do you like this trade more for the Braves or the White Sox? And what moves do you think the Braves are about to make with all their new roster space? Sound off in the comments below. My name is Liam. You can follow me on Twitter at Talkin' Twins and on Instagram at Talkin' Twins TV. To follow along with our MLB offseason content, be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell, and if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, have a great day, and go Twins!